Can a seismometer show us how a university responds to the coronavirus lockdown? Hi, I'm Allie Sealander with UTD Geo News, and today we're looking at seismic noise, the kind made by people. You may already know about seismicity in terms of shaking from an earthquake. Geoscientists measure and compare the energy released from earthquakes, not on a linear scale, but a logarithmic one. For each number on the scale, the energy released increases 33 times. A magnitude 6 earthquake is 36,000 times more powerful than a magnitude 3 earthquake. You probably wouldn't even feel an earthquake less than magnitude 3, but the modern seismometers buried underground can. The shaking and vibrations humans make every day go completely unnoticed except by the nearby sensitive seismometers. Things like road traffic, construction, and even people walking near the seismometer produce seismic waves that are several magnitudes weaker than the smallest earthquakes. These waves combine to make up the constant, low-energy background hum called seismic noise, and it's always going on, even when cities come to a near standstill, like in the early morning, or when people are advised to stay at home. The TexNet Seismic Network has installed over 70 seismic stations across Texas. While their aim is to detect, locate, and measure the state's earthquakes, they're also able to pick up the seismic noise around them. One TexNet seismometer was installed at the University of Texas at Dallas. UTD has 30,000 students, and they make plenty of noise, seismic and otherwise. Seismic noise generated by people moving around UTD is picked up by the on-campus seismometer. So what changes would we expect to see in the seismic noise at this or any other university before and after the coronavirus lockdown? Lucky for us, some seismic noise data collected by the UTD seismometer was analyzed by geophysics students of Professor Stephen Aerosmith at Southern Methodist University in Dallas. Let's look at a couple graphs they generated. The first graph shows the seismic noise over two months in early 2020, before and after the COVID pandemic hit Texas. The vertical axis shows the ground displacement in nanometers, and the horizontal axis is time, from February 15th to April 22nd, 2020. To put it in perspective, your hair is about 100,000 nanometers wide, so nanometers of movement is not much. The solid red line shows when students left UTD for spring break. The dashed line shows when shelter in place began. Very few people were moving around campus after this time. Look at the patterns of activity at UTD before spring break. The peaks were highest during weekday classes and lowest at nights and on weekends. Another visualization shows the seismic noise hour by hour and day by day for a time before and after the lockdown when no classes were held on campus. The days before spring break show normal activity, with noticeable peaks on Monday through Thursday between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. when students were coming and going to class. After the lockdown, UTD became much quieter. But no matter how quiet a university can get, there's always going to be a few people moving around and a little bit of seismic noise. If you like this, please check out our other UTD Geo News videos. We'll also leave you with a few other seismic plots from around the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. I'm Allie Sealander, and I'll see you next time.